Hi, I'm Belle Woodhouse and I'm here today to talk to you about life in Cozumel. If you would like more detailed information, click on the Cozumel page in the description box below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. So a little bit about me. Previous to living here, which I have lived on Cozumel for the last two years and hold residency and I'm about to renew my residency for the third year. Prior to this, I lived in Guatemala for two years and before that I was in the Royal Australian Navy in Australia. How I became a travel writer was I actually took my first holiday in over a decade and I remember the exact moment I decided to change my life and I was sitting on a beach in Bali looking at the Bali Sea and I had never been that relaxed for years and I thought I wish this could be my life. And I fell in love with travel all over again and I was sitting there thinking that I would like to change and do something that enabled me freedom to travel. And as if fate stepped in, I received an email from a friend and it told me exactly how to do that, become a travel writer. And now I am. So I did my course and then I took off and I traveled through Cambodia and India and all through Central America and then went back and lived in Belize and then Guatemala for a couple of years where I taught English and now I've been on Cozumel for two years. So that's me in a nutshell. And why I love living here is just because although it is a very busy island and it's a bit of a tourist haven, it still has a relaxed vibe and a bit of an artistic vibe and I really enjoy that. So on any given day, I can walk through downtown and meet people from different countries and make new friends. Although there is a large expat community here and I do have a lot of expat friends as well as local friends, which is the local culture is amazing with fantastic food. And it's more of an outdoor lifestyle here as well because the year long Caribbean warm weather is, it, makes you want to get outside and do things. It makes you want to go for a walk along the shorefront or go for a swim in the ocean or just have a barbecue at your house with friends. It's more of an outdoor living kind of thing, which is why we have a lot of Americans from the colder climates and a lot of Canadians come down for either six months of the year as snowbirds or they live here year round. So what I would like to take you around today is to show you a bit of the town itself of San Miguel de Cozumel and also my neighborhood and some of my favorite places on the island. So let's go. Hi guys. So this is where I live. This is my apartment building in the suburb called Corpus Christi. And it's a very good suburb, very safe and one that is very quiet, one that I like a lot. And this is my apartment building, so come on in and let me show you around. Hi, come in, let me show you around. All right, I have a one bedroom apartment and this is the kitchen. Full size fridge, fully stocked, everything you need and it has a great oven, which is very important for me. I love to cook. So holds perfect temperature, which I adore. And then I use this as my workspace slash lounge room, which is, it's a one bedroom, so it's very small. And dining. And in the back, there's just a bedroom and an ensuite. So very simple, but it has everything that I need very close to town. Within a five minute walk, I have two major shopping centers. Um, we have a beautiful park, up which I will show you in a moment. And also a lovely church, which I think is the nicest church on the island. And this neighborhood is very popular with expats. I would say we are about 40 to 50% of residents here. Lovely big wide streets, as you saw, and a lot of lovely homes. So let's go and see the neighborhood. Corpus Christi has everything from small one bedroom apartments like mine which were around $400 a month through to mansions up to one to two thousand dollars a month so depending on your budget you're bound to find everything that you want here.
Some homes even have their own artworks like this Brida Carlo in tile, so walking the streets is a joy. And our local church, Corpus Christi, the Golden Church, is one of the most popular on the island with a big park across the road, perfect to sit and relax. But if you head down to the ocean front from the church, just a quick five minute walk along and you will come to our big supermarket, Mega, full of fresh fruits and produce and delicatessens, and great cheese selections. It has everything you need plus some creature comforts from home or you can shop at smaller stores as well. Hi, um, this is one of my favourite stores, it's called Vesicos and it is a zero waste store. So as you can see, Cosimo is very eco-friendly and this is where I come to fill my reusable jars for all of my kitchen staples because I am a vegetarian. So things like chickpeas, lentils, rice, herbs, spices and all of your cleaning and bathroom products. Now I'd like to show you some of my favourite places on the island. This is Bacanos, a wonderful beach club which is perfect for lazing away the day with friends. Or we also like to go to the Northern Hotel Zone. As you can see here, they have swimming pools, spa treatments, fantastic restaurants and it's a lovely setting um, to meet friends. Or another favorite is La Misión, as you can see here. It's a traditional Mexican hacienda, which serves authentic cuisine, full of flavor and a great atmosphere. One of my other favorite places is Punta Sur. So I love to get in the car with a bunch of friends and head on down to the south of the island to its largest eco park. It's got beautiful big wide sand beaches where you can swim or snorkel or just laze away. We quite often go there for lunch and maybe have a margarita sitting on the beach. If you're a nature lover like me, then not only will you enjoy Punta Sur, but you will also enjoy the Mind Beast Sanctuary, which has just opened in the middle of the island, teaching all about the conservation and preservations, just like the Maya people have done for sanctuaries of these tiny native stingless bees. Freshwater cenotes are found all throughout the Yucatan Peninsula and also on Cozumel. My favourite, as you can see here, is found out at the Mayan Steam Lodge in the heart of Cozumel's jungle. It's a traditional Mexican tamascal where they place hot rocks, which they have on the huge fire, in the middle of a pit in an earthen lodge. And once you're in there, they just splash it with a little bit of water providing the steam and it's for detoxification and holistic purposes and the Mexicans believe that it purifies mind, body and soul. Lastly, I would like to show you the highest point of Cozumel. It's a great place to sit and enjoy a fantastic homemade lemonade. And if you would like to know more information about Cozumel, please click on the Cozumel page in the description box below. I hope you will enjoy the island and hope to see you soon. Bye.